Hey, what's up guys? Space Edge here. Welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I managed to 3-star MOC-12 of the newest memory of Chaos with the Aventurine boss in the second half. It took me a really, really long time to 3-star it, but I just want to show it to you guys how I managed to do it and go over the strategies I use when beating the Aventurine boss here. Just so to give advice to some of you guys who may be struggling with MOC-12. So yeah, this first bit here will just be me giving my advice of like my uh, general strategy of doing MOC-12 in the fastest uh, cycles possible. And then you can use the timestamp down below if you want to skip to the attempts where I actually managed to 3-star MOC-12. But yeah, it took me a very long time to do so. I think it took like a total of 8 hours in like 2 streams in order to finally 3-star MOC-12. It took a really, really damn long time. So the teams that I use for the first and second half respectively are Dr. Ratio, Aventurine, uh, Silver Wolf, and Ting Yun. With pretty much Dr. Ratio being my main DPS for the first half. Aventurine's just there to keep us alive and also trigger Dr. Ratio's follow-up attacks. And Ting Yun is to pretty much just supply Dr. Ratio with like energy. And Silver Wolf is there to, you know, give debuffs to Dr. Ratio. And then for the second half, I ran Acheron, Black Swan, Fu Xuan, and Pela. And the stuff I mainly did really did help me into uh, making the cycles a bit faster and clearing like the first half within like four cycles and then just saving six cycles for the second half that's i think the pretty much what you should be aiming for because the aventurine boss takes a very long time to beat so as my first piece of advice for MOC-12, I recommend that you guys try and get a 4 cycle on the first half and save the rest of the 6 cycles for the second half with the Aventurine boss fight. Because, as you all know, the Aventurine boss fight has 2 phases and will definitely take up a lot of your cycles up in trying to beat him. So, if possible, I say try to aim for like four a 4 cycle clear for the first half, which is what I did here in my attempt. And my second tip is to mainly aim for the dinosaurs first in the first half. Because the dinosaurs take very, very little damage until their weakness broken. So my advice would be to go after the dinosaur first and get their toughness all the way down. And then just start railing all the damage in on them as soon as their weakness broken. And if you want to delay him for as long as you possibly can, wait till the dinosaur takes his turn, then weakness break him, because that will stun him for much longer. And if you have an imaginary character on your team, let's say Aventurine, or Dr. Ratio, or Imbiber Lune, or Welt, or anybody of the sort, be sure they're the one to break the dinosaur, because imaginary break does delay them for even longer, and will in turn allow you to do more damage to the dinosaur before they recover. So TLDR, just go after the dinosaur first before going after the other enemies in the the first half and also for another piece of advice um, when the dinosaur is low enough on HP like below like what do you think is 15% because that's what the MOC effect does um, for those of you who don't know uh, when you do six attacks in total the MOC's buff will explode all the enemies dealing 15% of their total HP as damage so my advice would be if the dinosaur is somewhere you think is around near 15% of their HP, and if the MOC's effect hasn't went off yet, immediately switch to the other targets just so you can focus them down, and then they will just die to the MOC's like effect. Remember that the MOC's effect will deal 15% of the dinosaur's damage, regardless of whether or not their weakness broken. So if you think you need two cycles to clear the other enemy, but you think the dinosaur is on like 30% HP, then it's okay to leave them alone and then just let the MOC's effect kill them. That's the strategy I mainly adopted for the first half. Not gonna lie, I kind of just brute forced this uh, second half here, but the one strategy that I kept in mind was to let the MOC like effect like detonate on Aventurine and try to make sure it does not detonate on the dice because that can happen. If the MOC's effect goes off too early while you're on the dice phase, the MOC's effect will hit the dice and will not damage Aventurine at all, which is kind of annoying, not gonna lie, but you can time it. However, if you do the counting right, you can time it to where Aventurine will get hit after like the dice rolls are done. So what I mean is with your like support characters, if the MOC's effect is on like five or whatever and the dice are still out, I recommend you just use your support characters like skill that does not do damage because then the MOC's effect won't build up and then just wait until the dice go away, then detonate the MOC's effect onto Aventurine. Because Aventurine has like a million HP per phase, which is very hard to get down unless you're like a whale and have like a very, very well invested DPS. So yeah, if you want to get Aventurine down a bit faster, just try to time the MOC's effect well enough to where the explosion happens on Aventurine and not the dice. 
And yeah, that's pretty much all the strategies I kind of adopted for this MOC 12. Hopefully you find some of them useful. Hopefully you should be able to clear MOC 12 too, if you haven't already. And yeah, now I'm about to show you the attempts that got me to finally three star MOC 12 after like eight hours endlessly of like nonstop suffering. So yeah, enjoy my successful attempt at beating uh, MOC 12 at three stars. Feeling lucky for the theater of 100% quick. How's MSC doing? I went to build my sparkle and dye hair. Uh, not going so well, as you can see. Still struggling. I did upgrade Ratio's talents, only one of them. But still, it's not enough to four cycle the first half. Your answers? Answer me. Had your say yes. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. The MOC's effect did more damage. Watch your head. Zero points. There we go. Bro Kim. Now I need to defense down on him to do way more damage. This is double speed. Yeah, I've considered that. I've considered going after the big guy first. But I think going after the dinosaur is. I know, much more beneficial to me. Sure, I'll play along. Uh -huh. Test. Zero points. Oh. Uh, okay, should stop Time inflicting the, the imaginary weakness break on you. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Let's be friends. Uh, should I? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I should. I think yeah. Now it's time for me to ignore the dinosaur. The measure of truth and falsehood. I think I got his health low enough as is. I think the next MOC's um, blast should kill him. Zero points. Watch your head. Uh, okay, smack. Okay, uh, hit you. No dirty tricks already. I think he's low enough. I think, uh, once I proc the six thing, it should kill him. Dirty tricks. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you just in case. There we go. Okay, first stuck the dinosaur. This is double speed. Man, who would hold you made this MOC? What a pain. Yeah, it's a really honestly a pain. A like, not even Aventurine. <laughs> like, I, I get this, like, MOC is pretty much made for Aventurine, but honestly, he doesn't help much in this. Watch your head. I'm asking questions. Because, yeah, the, the Aventurine boss fight has, like, what? Like, 100 or, like, yeah, 40% imaginary res, so. Pretty much it's detrimental to use a Ventry on your team against, like, against this MOC. Although his shielding can't be nice, though. A thousand wonders. Fight as one. Do I down the dinosaur now? Yeah, I do. The measure of truth and falsehood. Uh, hmm. Okay. We're gonna we, we're gonna split the damage between Kokolia and the dinosaur now. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. There we go. Yeah, just have the ultimate attacks hit the dinosaur, and then ratio skill hit Kokolia. Okay, now we break Kokolia. Make sure she doesn't do anything. She recovers instantly because fuck Which you. You don't deserve good things. Your answers? A test. Zero points. Welcome, customers. Man, why why? Why why did she recover instantly? What the fuck? Judgment of eternal winter. Watch your head. Okay, the dinosaur recovered, but I think I don't think it should matter. This combat needs up to this is double speed. I think. I, get, I think I got his HP low enough. 
No, I did not. Apparently, he's the main enemy protagonist, apparently, and he's just gonna survive at 1 HP. What a fucking pain. Ah, uh, what did you hear? Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Now you die. Oh, please, please, die right now. Oh, thank fuck. Took forever, but... Okay, finally four cycle that. Now I think six cycling Aventurine should be... I wouldn't say easy peasy, but I think I got a better chance at uh, winning this now. Make a wish. Yes, yeah, so now she's having the Crimson Ots instead of the big guy. And now Do one's on him. It? Well, fuck me. This is not good off the bat. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. No water to the oblivion. I see through you. Uh, okay. Just keep going at you then. Yeah, unfortunately, most of my attacks are multi hit because I need to have multi hit. Because <laughs> to hit Aventurines dies. So I really have no choice here. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> Memories are ever beneath <clears throat> the waters lies an endless abyss. Uh, okay. Fine, six three. That's not a loss of damage, really, but uh, I mean, the big guy is just gonna take a bit longer to kill, which I don't like. Uh, please give me the Pela ultimate. There we go. Might as well. Uh, if only inflicted more debuffs. Still waters of oblivion. I'm not saying it's impossible to do it here, but mm. you know what? We'll, we'll go with this run for now to see if we can do it within like these cycles. I weep for the departed. I'm just gonna do it here because he takes way too long to kill if I don't do this. Let the game begin. Prepare for some Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? What do you want to know? Yeah, I think I want to defense down him just all the way. Time for good old counter Free will, or was it destined for oblivion? Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna time the thing right to attack, uh... Ah, shoot. Uh, Pale doesn't have her ultimate ready. Yeah, nope. At least she isn't stunned. <laughs> uh, she has okay. She he already has a defense down from from Payless of skill, right? Payless skills exposed, right? Yeah, exposed. So okay, so I can just I do the burst top. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. Enemy data secure. Netmark. Freeze him. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, refresh. Enemy targets detected. Tap him. What do you want to know? Uh, okay. The defense buffs are or debuffs are expiring, so I need to do this. And then the MOC effect just burst on him. I weep for the. Might as well do this now before she he recovers. It too shall fall. For oblivion. Prepare for Ow. 
Commencing support. Uh, if I can get the MOC's effect to proc, then I can. Nah, it's not going to though. He's going to do the, the gambling thing, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, now I can do it on him. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. This should, uh, yep. Get the ramming of his HP. <clears throat> Ready for another? Netmarker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Might as well. Do it. I yeah, I should do it now while I have the chance. One, two, three. Got seventeen percent. What do you want to know? Uh, yeah, refresh the defense down. <coughs> Gambling time. I, I always get a fucking one for some reason. Nine, good. Push one's probably not gonna yeah, do well on this one. Black Swan, uh, just hoping. There we go. This is gonna hurt, but. Uh, well, for, for Kayla. Shit. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think I might. I think you should use the skill here. Enemy data signet marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the departed. Two cycles ago. Two cycles ago. Destiny is memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Mmm. I would prefer the prism, but this works. It came together. <laughs> uh, Pale's gonna die here. <laughs> Shit. Uh, this is my last turn. Uh, yeah, I absolutely cannot. I need to let the deal. Uh, yeah, the effect hit him. It too shall fall. Divination. Should I sell my skill points though, or should I? Hmm. No, I, I need I need to attack here. <laughs> Who's gonna get hit? But Swan and uh, Akron are safe. Memories are ever beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Seventeen. Come on, Akron, please. I beg you. <laughs> Come on, Akron. Come on. Yes. Finally! Fucking finally! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was clutch. Holy shit! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, never have been gladder to get 60 jades in my life. Fuck yes, baby! We fucking did it, finally! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy. Oh. And after hours of suffering, <laughs> I can finally rest with a full 36 stars. Yes, on a new Forgotten Hall. Oh, that is the shit, baby. Oh, G fucking G. G fucking D&D. &D. Let's fucking go. Do you want to enter? Hmm.